Welcome back to our channel, YouTube. Welcome back to How Do. Today, as promised in last week's video, when we did that um, that gun comparison, we're going to be doing an unboxing here of a uh, of a new murder assault that we bought. Um, so let's get this thing open so we can get it underway. So I've been looking at this saw, if you will, for, uh, I don't know, a couple months or so. I've been searching for it. And, uh, we got here. Extension ropes, vacuum attachment, miter attachment, crumbling thing, dust bag, instructions, nobody needs them. She's beautiful. All right, so for the unboxing today, we've got the new style rigid, I don't know what this is, R4241, 15 amp, 10 inch miter saw. I've been searching for this saw for about three months now, I guess. Um, just so you know, it's replacing another rigid 10 inch miter saw this one had no slide mechanism on it though uh, this one has served us well we've been using this one for about five six years in our wood shop and it's going to be replaced by this one the trigger mechanism went bad in this one a few weeks ago so in the meantime we've been using my seven and a quarter dewalt battery operated saw which has been nice in a pinch but so let's get this thing cut open Let's see what we got. Hopefully some more foam and stuff we have to get rid of. Cardboard. Um, how do you do that? What's that? Comes up. Get rid of. This is why the environment's bad. No one ever says anything about the amount of styrofoam that we pack your stuff with. All right. So, as I said, I was searching for the saw. Um, it seems to me that, I, I guess, Rigid must have bought Delta. Or Delta, or whatever. I mean, I assume Delta went out of business and, uh, and, and Rigid bought it because Delta made this exact same saw, and I've been searching for it, and they had it listed as the Delta Cruiser. Um, and it was unavailable for the last few months. And then all of a sudden, I was searching for the Delta Cruiser again, and it became available at Home Depot, but then Home Depot also had this. And this is the exact same mechanism. So it's a 10-inch compound miter saw. Um, they say 60 degrees right, 50 degrees left. And the reason I bought it is because it has the industry, industry's leading slide. So this saw will cut up to 16 inches straight out. And it is what everybody has uh, said about this in reviews that I've seen. It is definitely the smoothest slide mechanism that I've ever seen. But you can lock it down as well and use it as a regular chop saw, which is... Um, the other reason why I got this in the 10 inch to replace that one because not only do I use it but my wife uses it and she doesn't like it when it slides so we're gonna lock this for her when she uses it and when I use it we're gonna use it as a slide um, all right so I'm gonna put this together right now there's a couple of pieces to put on and um, you'll probably catch that in our time lapse and then we'll come back to it and kind of uh, power it up so you can see it in action. All right, so we got those pieces on. Got a couple other pieces that this came with. This one's gonna come in handy. 
And then you'll be shocked to know this is a dust port for your vacuum. So you can actually put this on here, tighten it down, and then be able to uh, plug your vacuum into that. So if you look around, clearly dust collection has not been a, a big thing for us here in the shop. But going forward, it's one of the things that I have planned for this year is to get the uh, proper dust collection in here. So I'm going to hold on to this. We probably won't use it now. This is the other thing they give you that uh, whenever you buy a miter saw, this is, you know, probably my 10th miter saw I've bought in my life. It's our, actually, currently, it's our fifth, fifth? One, two, three, four, yeah. Currently, it's our fifth one that we have. Um, they always give you one of these bags and for collecting dust, and that's what I've done with all of them. <laughs> I just throw them away. Because, again, dust collection's never really been a huge factor. All right, then they give you these. Um, another one of these things, you know, that's that come with a miter saw. And this is so that you're able to lock down some molding when you use it. So it's pretty, it's pretty neat. It's pretty handy. Every time you buy a miter saw, it comes with one of these. But it's another thing that I've never used. I actually bought on the side here. If you see these threaded screws, Dewalt makes a great crown molding uh, jig for cutting it. So I use this saw for crown molding. That's what I'll use. Um, as I said, the specs of this saw, it's got the greatest range of motion for cross cutting. I mean, look how far out that is. It's got to be 16 inches or so that you're able to use the saw. To, so you could cross cut a 2 by 12. I mean, I don't even think I can do that with our, I don't even think I can do that with my DeWalt 12 inch miter saw cross cut a 2 by 12. Or maybe I just can. This thing, this thing's insanely is insanely deep um, you know then as far as the it's got all the uh, normal things it's got the detents at the uh, where you normally set a miter saw for use for depending on what you're cutting it's got these adjustment screws here so that you can get your square and you can check to make sure basically what you do is you stop it you stop at zero right there Take your square, put it against your fence, pull it down, and make sure that you are perfectly 90 there. Um, and actually looking at this, it's touching here, but there's a little bit of a space back here, so it looks like we're going to have to loosen that and adjust this a hair, but not bad, pretty easy to do. Alright, let's see this thing in action. Well, not too heavy. Oh, I put some screws. Oh, they don't work. I was hoping that the screws would line up, but I can do that again if need be. So the other reason I bought this saw is it's considered a zero clearance saw. Which means because of the kind of slide mechanism that it has where it collapses on itself, it doesn't have those typical, what you can see on on this saw, this has these bars that it slides on. So when you push it back, it needs that much more room to go. This saw collapses on itself. So the back remains the back the whole time. So it gives you a lot, a lot of clearance um, space to be able to use this. You can kind of use it on a tighter countertop. Um, just to let you know, it coming video that we're going to do is we're going to build this now that we have a proper miter saw we're going to build a proper miter saw station in here as well so all right we're all plugged in let's hear it let's see what she sounds like oh i like it press the trigger and it sounds like an explosion like it, i mean it turns right on there's no like winding up or anything like that Let's uh, let's cut a piece of pallet wood. That's nice. All right. Let's try this whole uh, so 
About, about a foot, about 12 inches. So with our original miter saw, that's what you got. And you know, this is a 10 inch blade. Oh, I have to save that blade. Take that off. All right. Same piece of fiber on the new 10 inch. Easy. I'd say pretty amazing actually, you know? Now let's check out the uh, the other functions here. There's a uh, lock mechanism back here. I don't know if you can see it, but you can lock that down. And when you do that, that allows this saw to be used as just a standard chop saw. And as I said, it's important to my wife that she can use it this way. So with that said, if you try the same piece of wood that we just did, but with the uh, lock feature, there you go. It's pretty much, well, actually, doesn't even cut as deep as the other one, but works out good because I can slide it. So. Um, so yeah, pretty exciting to have this uh, this new saw. I still have to check some things out. Looks like it's belt driven up here. There's a belt under here that you can expose. A little button here to lock the uh, lock the blade when you're changing it. And you know it's it's a compound miter saw, so it goes to 45 degrees in both directions. And I haven't checked these to make sure that they're right and and see what their positive stops, whether they're accurate or not. But um. In due time, we'll, uh, you know, we're going to test this thing out and get building on some stuff. So, thank you for uh, thank you for joining us here today, and uh, be on the lookout. I'm uh, I'm scouring the internet for tools, so we'll be doing a few more of these tool reviews in the near future. Now that I said in the last one, we have a, a grinder blade uh, video that we're putting together. So that's about it. We'll see you on the next one.